Hey, what's up dudes, Vamp here. I have a quick video for you guys showing how I'm fixing Black Ops 3 lag compensation by throttling either the PlayStation 4's IP address or throttling the NetDuma's WAN IP address, which I'll show later on. All these clips were recorded on November 27th, Friday night, on the current game version 37.11.19.4. During the recording of this video, the NetDuma was disabled, so this demonstrates how you only need to throttle to fix your lag compensation. Even with the NetDuma disabled, you can still confirm you're on a dedicated server if you see a small E located next to the version number in the top right corner. In the TP-Link firmware, when the bandwidth control section, this is where you tell your router what speed you're getting from your internet provider. So, if you need to find that information out, go over to speedtest.net, run a test, and find that info. You guys can see I'm getting 95 megabits down with 11 megabits up. And now let's head over to the rules list. You can see I'm throttling at a minimum upload rate of 64 kilobits per second and maxing the upload at 128. For my download, I'm starting a minimum of 128 kilobits per second and maxing that out at 768 kilobits per second. Once you have your throttling programmed, go back to bandwidth control and apply these settings before launching Black Ops 3 as it will see what bandwidth you're using. You can confirm this by going to the Black Ops 3 options and navigating to the network. And you'll see what your upload rate is right here. To properly throttle your NetDuma's network using the TP-Link bandwidth control, you do have to assign your NetDuma a WAN IP. To do so, click settings and go to WAN. You can see I've got my WAN IP enabled, and I've assigned an IP address that does not conflict with my gateway IP. And when throttling the NetDuma network, don't forget to add that new WAN IP address to your rule set in the TP-Link bandwidth control. So there you have it guys, these are the settings I'm using to avoid Black Ops 3 lag comp by throttling. Now, when throttling at really low speeds, there are a few things to consider. Number one. This current setup is mainly for the lone wolf who doesn't have a party going. Because if you do get people in a party and a lot of people are talking to you and you're talking back and everyone's having a good time joking around, it's going to lag you out. You're going to have to increase your download and your upload to compensate for people talking and yourself talking. Number two. And now for your local traffic, you'll have to keep that to a bare minimum. And by that, I mean you're only going to be running the firmware on your TP-Link or whatever router you're using to control the bandwidth going to your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Any other kind of traffic is going to cause jitter spikes on your gateway, which will lag you out when you throttle at these super low speeds. Your game will be very sensitive to local network traffic. Number three. One last thing to remember guys is once you do get your throttling sorted out, you are going to be running very well. Your aim, if it's on point, will put you in god mode. You're going to get crazy clips, you're going to want to scream Xbox record that or hit your PlayStation share button. At that point it's going to upload your clip to either the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live which will lag you out very bad and you'll have to unthrottle your connection in order to let your clip upload and then re-engage your throttling once your clip has finished uploading to continue on and get back to kicking some ass. If you guys have stuck around this far into the video, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date on future patches and releases from Treyarch and how that will affect lag compensation. If you guys need any help at all, feel free to leave comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and share to get the word out on this awesome fix for Black Ops 3. Thanks again for watching dudes, and I'll see you on the next one.